cleaning video. I make lifestyle and cleaning content on a weekly basis so if you're interested in seeing more from me make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today I'll be going through a quick 20-ish minute speed cleaning of my apartment. I started everything out on a Friday night I think relatively later in the night as well and I just wanted to get all of my cleaning done before the weekend started so I could kind of sit back, relax, and just not have to worry about all of this stuff that needs to be done. So something that I typically do on a Sunday, but I'm doing here now at the start of this video is stripping the bed sheets and giving them a good run through the washer and then of course eventually the dryer. I clean my sheets on a weekly basis. I know sometimes people will do it like every other week or maybe like every week and a half, maybe even like a couple of weeks, but I just prefer to have them cleaned on a weekly basis. So now we're moving on to the kitchen. It was in a little bit of a state of disarray after the, you know, long week, long Friday and I've really been loving literally this one song called Telephone by Vacations. I think it came up on like my Spotify Discover or just like a song that started playing after a playlist finished and I am obsessed. It's like the best song I think I've ever heard. So definitely would recommend checking out that band if you haven't heard them before. And I'm just blasting it through my headphones probably this entire time that I'm putting things away so check them out so I'm just going to unload the dishwasher here and something that I try to continuously tell myself when I unload the dishwasher is that it only takes two minutes in this apartment. Everything is really close together and it literally only takes like two to three minutes to get it done. Cabinets are right there. There's just something that psychs me out about like actually getting it done. So sometimes it'll sit there all day and I haven't emptied it yet, but here we are now in our massive cleaning mode and we're getting it done. And I cut up some limes, you'll see why later in a little bit in this video. So keep watching, you'll see why the limes are there. Now I gotta strap on the gloves to get all of these dishes done. My hands get so dry in the winter that these gloves are just like necessary. They're like three or four dollars from Target. It's just like a store brand name. And my boyfriend and I actually share them. Like he'll also wear the gloves. I don't know if that's gross or not. But you know something I've been thinking about a lot is when people use these types of gloves in the bathroom and then they clean the toilets wearing the gloves but then they go and touch like other things in the bathroom, like the sink and the mirror and the shower and the light switches with these gloves that they just use to clean the toilet. And I just don't understand if anybody uses this type of glove to clean their bathroom, let me know if you like disinfect them in between and how you do that. I personally don't own bleach if that's the way that you do it, which would make sense, honestly. But if bleach is the answer, let me know because that's what I'm thinking people do. But sometimes I don't think they do it in between the things that they do and when they should do it. 
I don't know, it honestly just skews me out a little bit. So for the bathroom, I always use disposable gloves and paper towels. Here I am spraying down the sink with the Dawn Power Wash. I love this stuff and I definitely want to get in the habit of cleaning my sink more often. I try to do it like at least once a week and I used to do the deep cleans with the vinegar and baking soda but like I need to get back into that habit. So I'm glad I'm doing it here. I took the time, I really did. And then also running the garbage disposal just to get any food bits down to the bottom of the sink. Get them out of here. Now I'm just going to wipe off the counters with my Method Granite Spray. And with that same rag that I used to wipe down the island there, I'm going to use it on the stove. And I have my homemade mixture of vinegar, water, and dish soap. And I just spray that on the stove. And after using this solution on this rag, I actually won't use it again on the counters. I'll just like leave it to hang dry and then I'll wash it and pull out a new fresh rag for the granite because I saw that vinegar is not good for like daily use on granite counters. So I try to stay aware of that and conscious of like reusing this vinegar rag on the countertops. I just try to avoid it. So it's gonna go in the laundry basket after this. Okay, stove is looking good. It's looking shiny. Always feels so good to get that done. And also on a weekly basis, I try to wash the coffee accessories. I'm not perfect with this, but again, I'm trying my best here. And I use this rag here to wipe down the actual machine with just like a little bit of water. It's just like a tiny bit damp. And I just wipe down the machine and it makes it all shiny and new again. This rag is like a certain microfiber cloth that is supposed to work on mirrors but I never got it to work well on mirrors for me, but it does work well on like appliances. So I guess I, that works for me. The bottom part of the coffee machine that like catches all of the grounds and the water kind of needs like a little bit of a deeper clean. Like the grounds really get stuck in there. Anybody with this Breville machine might know what I'm talking about, but it gets like kind of nasty and it makes like nasty coffee water. So I used the Dawn Power Wash on it, just to, like, I need like the most effective dish soap that I have. And I kind of literally use my fingers to get it out. It's not like you're eating or drinking off of this thing, but I feel like it must like smell. It probably like gunks up your house in some way. And then since I had the Dawn Power Wash out, I'm just spraying it on my coffee accessories. I've been thinking about making a video about the accessories that I purchased as a new to Breville person, like within my first year of owning a Breville. It's, I'm coming up on a year in May. That'll be like my one year with the machine. But if you're interested in seeing like what I bought and how I use them in like a probably beginner friendly way, because I'm still a beginner with it. If you've been watching my videos, I don't know how to froth milk with it. But yeah, let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like that. Anyways, we're refilling the soap containers and the plants over here. And now we're gonna get into why we had that lime. Guys, the lime was for a margarita. We're gonna treat ourselves to a little margarita as a little treat. So we get all this cleaning done, you know, finish off your tequila, get your lime juice, triple sec, homemade simple syrup. That was probably too much sweetener. I probably should have left that out since I already had the, the triple sec. I should have just done triple sec or simple syrup. Regardless, it was still really good. We're gonna cheers to that and this margarita will follow us throughout the night as we get our cleaning done. Maybe make yourself a little treat while you're cleaning. You know, sometimes you earned it. 
There we go, there is the fresh clean kitchen after I cleaned up all of my drink supplies. And now it's time to switch the laundry from the washer to the dryer. So that's what we're doing. So now again, on to a common weekly chore for me is to wipe down the bedroom, but I'm doing something a little different here. I'm cleaning out this like white basket that I have with like a fabric lining. It, it's where all my hair brushes and like hair ties live and scrunchies and stuff. So it definitely collects a lot of hair and it's been a while since I washed it. So I literally brought in the Dyson to get all of the hair out. I had to spare myself with the with the mist there, I guess. But okay, now that it's been vacuumed out, we're putting everything back in. Then we're just gonna pick up some of the stuff on the floor, put it in the laundry basket. It's been worn all week probably, so let's let's swap it out and get a new outfit of the week. Picking up the dog toys, you know the drill. All right, so now we're gonna get into the dusting of the surfaces in this room. I always start off with my desk because I usually use the rag on like my electronics and I just wanna start off with the rag being as clean as possible before moving on to like the other surfaces and then coming back to that at the end, I'd rather just use the rag on this stuff first. So I'm actually even taking the dry rag right now and just wiping the dust off my little outlet plug strip thing that I keep on my desk. So it's dry still, so just wiping down the monitor. I, think I was really trying to get some smudges out of it, but they weren't coming out. Then I took out an electronic cloth and that didn't really help. So I just kind of gave up, I think. Then we're, we're on to wiping down the other things. Like I said, this is why I keep the, the rag mostly dry. I give it like a little spray of this method stuff. Maybe that's not the best for my electronics, but but I've been doing it for a while and they seem to be okay. Giving the computer another go, see if we can get those smudges out. I literally don't think I did. Some say I'm still trying to this day. I also always try to wipe down the headrest of the bed. It's just like a metal frame that definitely collects dust. So that also gets done on a weekly basis when I can. So I've been using Windex and paper towels on this full length mirror for like as long as I've had it. And usually this keeps it like smudge and streak free for like only like three days now. It used to keep it like spotless for like a week, I think, unless I'm remembering it incorrectly. But I feel like it used to not be as streaky as quickly. I wanna try that like spray glass cleaner soon. Like the foaming one that you see on TikTok. I think that's gonna be the next thing I get. I gotta give Windex a break. I've been using her for so long. And as I told you earlier, those microfiber cloths that were made for mirrors, I haven't been able to get them to work. So I feel like I just need to try that different product and see if that helps. So the bed sheets are all nice and clean. So I'm replacing those on the bed right now. In 
and then on to the super fun part, putting everything back. And putting everything back in an order that you like, it just makes everything like look so much neater. I'm like looking around my room right now and everything like looks so much better because you put it back exactly where you want it. And then like in the next two days, they're all like misplaced, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. That's my bedroom after everything has been put away. And we have a little friend under that blanket. It's not lumpy, it's, it's just a friend. So say hi to Miss Kiki here. She loves to be under blankets. Anyone with a min pin knows that they love to be under blankets. Now I'm taking down the Christmas lights and I know it's been a little too long to keep these up. I took down the Christmas decorations, but these lights have been like the last thing to go. So I'm sorry, it was time to put them away though. They go into this little storage bench that also doubles as the coffee table to the couch. So I'm just putting that away and then putting some other clutter away that was in that room. And then I'm going to start to tidy everything up and wipe all the surfaces down. Now, I don't do this as often or as frequently as I do to the bedroom, but trust me, it does get dusty in here and I probably should do it a little more often. But yeah, we're doing it now. Then we're doing something I do so frequently. I do this like every two to three days because so much dog hair gathers on this fabric couch. But I am taking my Dyson and the like mini motor head attachment and wiping, not wiping, but I'm vacuuming up all of the dog hair and other things that may be on this couch. But this actually reminds me when I first bought a Dyson vacuum and I would vacuum the couch. I used like the tiniest, I used, I think I used like not the soft dusting brush, but like the harder dusting brush, but it wasn't this mini motorhead. I used an attachment that was definitely not suitable for a couch. And it would literally take me like 35 minutes to vacuum the couch. We had a bigger couch. We actually had two couches and I would vacuum both the couches. It would take like over half an hour and I was just like, why is this taking so long? This is like the worst thing ever. I hated doing it. And then I realized I could use this on the couch. I actually used to dedicate this attachment just to the bathroom for whatever reason, but I was like, no, no, no. We're gonna dedicate it to the couch and like the mattress. That's the thing about these attachments. I'll like dedicate them. I'll give them certain purposes. So, this like attachment isn't going on the floor whenever I use it. I don't know if other people do that, but that's just my way. And that's it. Now we get to enjoy a nice clean living space and pet hair free couch, at least for the next hour. So this video was actually filmed over the course of two days and here we are the next morning. The bed, as you know, the bedding's been washed, so all I have to do is make the bed. Simple task. And then, you know, pick up the various dog toys that are on the floor, even though I did that yesterday. Kiki loves her toys. And then we're going to put away all of the dishes that we had out drying from yesterday. Do not remember? We were wearing the gloves. We were washing the dishes and now they're dry. So we're putting them away.
and a task that we did not accomplish last night but we can accomplish today is doing the vacuuming so i didn't want to like wake up any neighbors or anything last night with the vacuum i think it like got pretty late by the time that i stopped filming so now that it's like later morning early afternoon we can get our vacuuming done in the house and i'm wearing these headphones again i'm probably listening to that vacation song like over and over anyways i've been really liking this vacuum I got it like a couple months ago compared to my Dyson V8 like you can definitely feel how much more powerful it is so yeah like I think the learning from that is like you don't need a new Dyson every single year obviously that would be a lot but when you upgrade from like an older model like at least like three or four years old at a minimum I probably could have gotten more use out of it then you'll really notice the difference in the upgrade. So I'm just going through each room of the apartment and giving it a quick vacuuming. And that is it. We are done with the cleaning for this weekend. Our Dyson is filled. It's ready to be emptied and disposed of. And yeah, we're ready to relax. We, we can enjoy all of our hard work now. That wraps it up for this week's cleaning video. I hope this gave you some motivation and inspiration to maybe get some cleaning of your own done. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, if you'd like to see more videos from me, and I'll see you in the next one.